Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to University of Cincinnati. I'm Justin Jemison, a current student here on campus. I'm coming to you live from room 513 of the Engineering Research Center. And today, I'd like to talk to you about one of UC's most outstanding academic programs. This particular program resides in the College of Engineering and Applied Science and is often overlooked. That's right, I'm talking about computer science. Lucky for you, I just happen to be a computer science major and I have all the information as well as all the information sources. You'll need to be well informed about this very interesting program. So, computer science. You guys are probably all wondering, what's the big deal, or how is this different from any other college major? Well, here's some background. Basically, computer science is the science of computers. Simple enough, right? It's probably the most dynamic science of our generation, meaning it's constantly changing. The primary focus of computer science is derived from mathematics and philosophy, meaning lots of numbers and lots of thinking, which are both crucial to any engineering discipline. One thing I'd like to make note of, though, is that the enrollments of computer science departments nationwide have heavily dropped. To say the least, I'm rather shocked at this outcome. Take a look here at this graph from the Computing Research Association. Okay, starting with 1999, I'll put this graph in motion. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay, watch how enrollment slowly starts to increase and then pretty much stays constant. Now watch how it starts to decrease. I'll speed this up a little. Big difference, right? Enrollment finally started to increase back in 2008, right about here. This epidemic of enrollment shrinkage prompted many companies to reach out and train business majors to meet their computing needs. But for the fate of computer science, we cannot let this happen again. So on the way over here today, I thought to myself, how am I going to present computer science to make it look like the exciting field that it is? Hmm. So I came up with the who, what, when, where, and why of computer science. First off, who can you expect from computer science? Well, people like me. That is, individuals who are hardworking, dedicated, and have a strong passion for computers, technology, and innovation. Professors who are brilliant. When it comes to mathematical induction and graph theory, these guys cannot be touched, so don't even try. There are student groups and organizations like the IEEE, which stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, and the ACM, which stands for the Association for Computing Machinery. We have the Engineering Tribunal, which, which consists of not only students in the computer science major, but members of other engineering disciplines as well. So, if you want to vent about core classes like calculus, physics, and chemistry, chances are the guys in this group will know your pain. Also, who says engineers can't be a part of Greek life? The university has its own chapter of Theta Tall, a co-ed engineering fraternity. So, if you'd like to make a difference in the community as well as have a great time with fellow engineers, this is the frat for you. Alright, what can you expect from computer science? Since computer science is an ever-changing science of today's modern society, you'll gain knowledge in subjects like mathematics, philosophy, physics, technical writing, logic, computer programming, data structures, database design, and professional development, you know, to prepare you for the workforce. One thing employers look for is an all-around person, someone who is ready to take on any challenge. You'll also learn about algorithms, which are processes or sets of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations. And operating systems, you know, the software that keeps your computer running. The most important subject, though, even when compared with all the other subjects out there, is math. Math, math, math. Cannot get enough of that stuff. Math pretty much forms the foundation of computer science, as it preps your brain for reasoning and problem solving. I mean, if you don't know math, chances are you'll have problems designing a computer program that calculates derivatives and performs integration. But hey, that's another story entirely. In fact, I was fortunate enough to have one of UC's own mathematician slash computer science professors agree to share his thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. So, Professor Slith, take it away. 
So computer science itself as a discipline grew out of really mathematics on the one side and electrical engineering on the other. As the mathematicians were trying to understand what's involved in this process of creating an algorithm, a set of rules to calculate something, and the electrical engineers were busy deciding how to build these storage devices to store them. And the original work was really cooperation among the two sides. In the now, computer science still draws heavily from both of these, and it draws from many other fields too, such as from artificial intelligence, material from psychology and philosophy, and in what's called software engineering material from sociology for how do people work well together in groups. But the end result, we've all got to understand some of them enjoy the mathematical problem solving and often puzzle solving that goes with it. So I like to say if somebody is a good candidate for a computer science major, I like to see somebody who does enjoys word problems in mathematics and mathematics puzzle solving. That's a good sign. Very useful information. Thank you very much, Dr. Schliff. You're welcome. Moving on, when can you expect to use computer science? Well, every day. If your computer has ever frozen on you and you either simply restarted it or went out and purchased a brand new one, you've utilized your problem solving skills you've gained from computer science. Also, each and every time you use a computer, you're applying fundamental computer science knowledge. The fact that you even know what's going on with your PC, that's when you know you've arrived. Okay, where can you use computer science? Everywhere. Because of UC's cooperative education program, founded in 1906 by former Dean of Engineering, Herman Schneider, what you learn while studying computer science here will not only benefit you on campus, but out in the business world as well. Anywhere from banks, hospitals, factories, big business firms, chemical plants, you name it, the know-how you've learned here will definitely come in handy.